second movement in Shinyi. Use the chest. Slow it down. Imagine running your fingers along a wall in front of you. They say the same distance apart. Judy, pull them in a little bit so that you're a little tighter in. You're way out here. That's going to be harder to do. Bring them in so that you're, you've got your hands at chest height. So you're just going. You feel how you can feel how that's coming from your underarm. Good. Yeah. Couple more. Last one. And stop. So this next one you might be able to feel even more. Take your right hand and basically under your arm with the palm of your hand right against your chest side of your chest. We're going to let the arm come up and as the arm comes up, push down with this hand so that you're, you can really feel that when the chest muscle engages, you want to try and get the ribs engaged on this one. So we go palm up and then rotate it over, palm down in the back. Only do as big a circle as you can control from your chest. I can do this, but as soon as I try to do it from my chest, notice how much smaller my circle is. So by keeping the pressure here, you can really feel it a little bit better than the other two that we did. You're lifting the hand straight in front of you. So it's coming straight up, comes around, and then palm down in the back. This is also great for anybody who has any kind of shoulder issues. forces you to limit your motion and stay within your comfort zone. One more time around. Come back to the front. Turn the palm over. Now go down. And in the back, it's palm up. Trying to do it nice and slowly so you can feel every part of the movement. I generally will breathe in as I come up, breathe out as I go down, but you don't have to coordinate the breathing with this one. One more time. Good. Just work those shoulders out for a moment, relax them, and then switch. Left hand under the armpit against the side of the chest. Palm up as we come up. Palm down as we go down.
One more time, we're going to reverse. Come down, come all the way up, turn the palm down, palm up as you come up the back. Copying those spirals in nature. Make sure also that when you're turning your palm, you're not doing it from the wrist, you're doing it from the entire arm. Probably should have said that earlier. One more time. And down. Good. Let's do some shoulder rolls. Let's do very controlled shoulder rolls. So bring your shoulders forward. So you're going to collapse the chest. Bring your shoulders forward and bring them up. Then bring them back. Drop them down. Bring them forward. So we're Establishing like a square here. I'm collapsing the chest, bringing the shoulders up, opening the chest, but keeping the shoulders high, then dropping them down and collapsing the chest, bringing the shoulders up, opening the chest, collapsing, bringing them down, then collapsing the chest as I move forward. And notice your palms will change position as you go through this. So as I come up and back, my palms are facing behind me as I go down and forward, the palms are forward. That should just feel very natural. One more time. Good. Let's do regular shoulder rolls just to make sure everything's nice and loose. Let's alternate. So, right then left. Try to do it all out of the shoulder. See if you can prevent your head from moving, your waist from moving. Reverse. Both hands together. Feel that chest opening up as you go back. Reverse. Good, one more time and stop. Good. Now this next one is called um, meeting north and south is the best way I can, because I can't pronounce the uh, Chinese part of it. it. It's kind of fun because it involves clapping. You're going to let your hands come up behind your head where you're going to clap. And you're going to bring your hands down, but you're not clapping down here at your buttocks. You're going to try and clap higher up by the Ming Men point. So it's so you have to get your hips forward a little bit to do this. Nice stance. One more. Good. Hopefully that's loosened everything up. Let's do, uh, what's it called? Sorry. Uphold the heavens and firm the root. So feet about shoulder width apart. And you're just going to push upward down with one hand. As that other hand rises, 
so does your um, heel. So you come up and then you go down to midpoint and then you switch. It's almost like you're working an elliptical machine. Make sure you're transferring your weight, coming up onto the toe. And slow it down. One more time. Good. Let's try a, a crane move. For this one, bring your feet as close together as you're comfortable. Let your knees come together or pretty close together. If you're bow-legged like me, when you stand like here, you can see I can't bring my knees together. So as close as I can. We're going to take a nice deep breath in. Wings come up. Shoulder height. And as you sink down, embrace your knees. Breathe in. And breathe out. One more time. Good. Bring your feet to about shoulder width apart. We're going to bring our hands together. We're going to bring them up. Palms facing down. Then as we press down, we're going to transfer our weight and we're going to kick back. Then we're going to come back to center and do the same on the opposite side. See, I didn't look at my 12 point, 12 foot point. So we put them together. So we come down, go out, back, out. One more time each side. All right, let's go back to flying. So stay shoulder width apart. And just try to get that sensation of flying. Let the wrists be lifted upward. The hands are kind of just long for the ride as they flop. And your arms just float back down. Breathing in as you come up. Nice and slow. Good. Bring your feet a little bit closer together. Decide whichever leg you want to start on. As you come up, you're gonna go forward. As you're gonna go down, you're gonna go back and then come back to rest. And then it's switched to the opposite side. One more time. Good. 
go back to flying. She wanted it nice and easy. Trying to just kind of get into that groove where you don't even feel the arms floating up. They just kind of do it with the breath. So as I breathe in, the arms just float up. Pause. And then I breathe out as they come back down. I pause. couple more. Last one. Good. Just let your hands come down. Keep that stance. And you're playing, lifting the chi ball. We're going to take our left hand, gather the energy up into a ball, lift it up as your right hand comes back to the Ming Men point. And as your left hand comes down, the right hand comes out and we switch positions. Breathing in as you come up. Pause, breathe out as it comes down and you switch. Breathe in. Pause, breathe out. Pause, breathe in. Try to feel that energy being gathered and the weight of it as you lift the hand upward. And then feel that energy being pushed down into the earth as it goes down. One more time. You bring both hands down in front of you. Bring your feet closer together. Breathe in as you come up onto your toes. Interlace your fingers and push upward. Breathe out as you go down. Breathe in. Pause as you push upward out as you go down. Pause as you reset and breathe in. wider stance, just so you're comfortable in your set. Arms out to the side. Imagine you've got two balloons under your hands. 
And we're just holding that down as we transfer our weight, lift the knee up, go to the side, come back to the center, down, switch up, out, in, down. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Last one. Good. Go back to flying. Try to really feel the energy in your palms as you're doing this. Try to clear your mind. Just allow the breath. Cause the arms to float up and down. Good, and we're gonna do a little variation here. We're gonna come up to the shoulders. Go down. Come all the way up. Wrist crossed with the palms facing out. And then come down. So it's up. Down. All the way up. Down. One more time. Good. Now we're going to add a little dimension to this. Put your heels together, turn your feet 45 degrees. You're going to bend as you go down. And then you're going to rise up without locking the knees. One more round. Good. Go back to shoulder width apart with your feet. Bring your hands in front of you, in front of the lower Dantian. Try to feel the energy coming out of the Lao Gung points in your palms. As you breathe in, Separate them a couple of inches. As you breathe out, let them come back to the starting point. It's going to do this just a couple of times. Good. Now hold that chi ball in front of you. Bring it up the body and then bring it in front of you and around. Breathing in as it comes up, breathing out as it goes down. Bend your knees a little bit as you go down, straighten up a little bit as you come up. Make sure not to lock out the knees. One more time. Hold on to that chi ball in front of you. Take your left foot, drop it back behind you. As you breathe in, put more weight onto the left. As you breathe out and coming down, more weight onto the right.
Try to get that nice separation. Keeping the feet on the floor the entire time. One more time. Let's come back to the center. Just do a couple here. And now step back with your right foot. And same thing. Transfer the weight. Keep it nice and slow with the breath. One more, and then come back to the center. So come around, go back to the center. And bring it down to the lower Dantian. Good. Now we're gonna take it and we're gonna turn in a circle in front of us. Let your hips go out as they move away from the ball moves away from you. Hips come in as the ball comes towards you. You'll notice you're going to use your arms much less if you do that. Don't make the circle too big. One more time, then we're going to reverse. We're going to go all the way over, and then reverse. Couple more. Back to the lower down tien. Step back with your left foot. You're gonna bring the ball around to the side. Make sure you're turning your hips. So you'll notice my arms are hardly moving. It's all through body mechanics. Shifting the weight, turning my hips. One more time and then we're gonna reverse. So we're gonna come in, go to the back and then go forward. procedure that we're doing. It's called circling hands. One more time, we'll come back to the center. Come around here a couple times. And now we're gonna drop back with our right foot. And again, use the hips. Just 
circling hand practice has been used on several occasions that I'm aware of with people that have knee surgery, knee replacements, on um, even hip issues. Oh, I don't know if anybody necessarily has had a hip replacement that's done it, but I don't know why they wouldn't. You limit the range, you stay within your comfort zone. You remember the 70% rule that we've always talked about. 100% is 100% of what you're capable of. So if you had an injury, you're capable of much less. And so you go 70% less than that, or maybe even only 40 or 50% less than that. Switch direction. Stay, always stay within your comfort zone. One more time around, we'll come back to the center. couple of times and bring it back to in front of your lower Dantian. See if you can really feel that energy between your hands. As we were talking about clearing the sinuses in the beginning, let's all take this chi ball and just go ahead and push right into the sinuses, the forehead. Feel that ball enter your head, push it all the way in. Feel the warmth enter your skull. Breathe that in. Feel the warmth spreading out all through your head, down your neck, your chest, your hips, and down the legs. Bring your feet closer together. Let's bring down the heavens. Breathe in. Breathe out as you push that energy down through the byway point all the way down. I've mentioned this before. This is a posture we do for the triple warmer, which is the thermostat of the body. But it's also takes the energy and pushes it down from the head, down into the ground. So this is a really good one to use just before you go to sleep. Get that energy out of your head. If you want to add the triple warmer healing sound to it, it's he. So let's just practice that. Breathe in. He. He. One last time. He. Finish with one hand over the other, over the lower Don Tien, just below your belly button, feet as close together as you're comfortable. Feel that energy coming out of the palms, filling the lower Don Tien. Sure that little pearl inside of you, which is the lower Dantian, getting brighter. Feel it getting warmer. As it gathers that energy and it fills up until it starts to move outward, spiraling down your legs and up your torso. Just let your body relax rock and sway, bamboo in the wind. Let the energy move through your body, spelling all darkness, moving energy stagnation and blockages, 
moving negative thoughts and emotions to every part of your body is a glow with energy. Let that energy move outward, surrounding you in a protective cocoon. As you float weightlessly inside that cocoon, become aware of what it feels like to be safe, to be healthy, to be at peace. Take a nice deep breath and gather those feelings and take them with you for the rest of the day.